In this video, we're going to learn about the alignment tools. And there are several alignment tools found here along the top toolbar. And to use them, I first need to have more than one thing selected. So for example, I have a lot of different shapes that we've created so far in the video. And if I click and drag a box around, even just these two stars, okay, now the alignment tools have become available. And of course, the first one is align left. And so if I click on this, it will make the two stars have the same matching left sort of extreme point. You know, so they both have the same left edge. Now, if I hit undo and then change that to be align centers vertically, it will put them together along the same vertical line, just vertically, not horizontally, so not center center, but just center vertically. And I'll hit undo. And then of course you have also right justify. So again, putting the two star shapes to have the common right-handed point. And again, undo. Um, I also have the ability to align them by the top point. So if I say top align, it'll make them share that common top point. I'll hit undo. So I can do centers horizontally. So they'll be centered along the same horizontal point. I can do centers bottom. So a lot along the same bottom line. Then we have the ability to make them first of all, the same width. So notice that this one looks wider, the green one looks wider than the blue one does. If I change make same width, it will equal the same, you know, each shape to have the exact same width across. Now, if I hit undo, we could also do equal height. And so in this case, while well, they were already kind of I noticed almost the same height, but the point is, we can make things match width and height or whatever, you also have the ability to make them the exact same size. So we'll just say make same size. And then you can align them, you know, center and center and get everything sort of aligned those ways. The other one you have is about spacing. So for example, in this case, um, why don't we actually just create an oval and and then an oval and an oval. And so notice that these three ovals have, and I'll select all three of them, uneven spacing. There's more space between these two and less space between those two. So if I come here and choose equal horizontal spacing, then it moves the center one to be an equal distance away from this sort of first one as it is from the second one. Now, I'm just gonna hit undo again to go put it back. If I use equal vertical spacing. So now it's looking at how much space is there between sort of this one in the bottom, this one in the top and the bottom and this one in the top. And if I make them equal, so it said, all right, if that's the top, and this is the bottom, then I'll take the center one and make it be an equal distance in between. And so that's about sort of equal spacing that you can change your spaces vertically and horizontally. So yeah, there's different alignment tools. And the key is you have to select at least two shapes before you can use the alignment tools to align them together and make them the same sizes and you know horizontally center them or whatever you want to do.